No matter how hard you try, you don't get out of the situation. And nothing can be done. We are not moving. This is the gear stick that will help you in selecting the two high. You can see that the traction system has turned off. Greetings everyone, welcome back to the channel Roads of the Mountains. My name is Rohit and today I want to talk about the 4x4 system of the Jimny, how capable is it. Past few weeks have been a little busy for me so I couldn't shoot, couldn't upload, couldn't do anything about the videos and uh, here we are in a healthy form, back again with the videos. Today I want to discuss the 4x4 system of the Jimny, how capable is it, how easy is it and uh, what all have we got covered and uh, are the gearing ratios even uh, worth it and what is the two high system the four high system the four low system and how exactly does it work and what are the different situations where we need to use the gears in a particular uh, given set of circumstances first of all i should uh, show you the mechanism of the car how does it work the real mechanism like what is the transfer case where is it located in the vehicle how many propeller uh, shafts do we have and uh, you call it a propeller shaft or a drive shaft. How many different kinds of shaft do we have here? So let's have a look at the system first and then I'll show you the different kind of situation and put the vehicle in a particular situation where I can explain the 4x4 systems. So let's go guys and start the video. Alright, so here you can see that this is the transfer case of the vehicle and uh, this will divide 50% of the power to the rear axles. And this over here is the front propeller shaft. This particular shaft is a front propeller shaft which will uh, give access to the front uh, axles uh, when the four, four high or the four low is engaged. And there is one more shaft that is going into the transfer uh, case. I'll just show it to you guys. There's a shaft running from the engine, from the engine's gearbox uh, to the transfer case. This is the propeller shaft from the engine to the transfer case. So this particular unit is the transfer case. This is where the 4 by 4 door is engaged and uh, from here we'll divide 50% of the power to the rear axles and 50% of the power to the front axles when the 4x4 high is engaged or even the 4x4 low. This is the engine. This entire unit is the engine over here. And uh, this is the gearbox of the manual uh, transmission. And from here, as we can see, this is the uh, propeller shaft going from uh, the engine to the transfer case. So this is uh, a very simple mechanism of the Jimny. As we can see, and that is how the 4x4 system of the chimney will work. Okay, so this is what the gearing system of the chimney looks like. This is a manual transmission chimney. Now the manual transmission and the automatic transmission, they have got uh, one thing in common. That is this particular gear this is the gear stick that will help you in selecting the two high the four high and the four low there are three different modes of gearing that we can choose one is the two high this particular uh, system is for providing the power to the rear wheels and no power will be channelized to the front wheels 100 percent of the power will go to the rear wheels once we put the vehicle in the four high the power of the engine will be channelized into the front wheels and the rear wheels also now there is no torque splitting that is happening here in the Jimny. 50% of the power will be strictly delivered to the front wheels and 50% of the power will be strictly delivered to the rear wheels. So we have got a 50-50 strict splitting and uh, there is no torque vectoring or torque splitting that is happening here. The power will not be channelized to the front only. It will always be distributed in a 50-50 ratio. 50% to the front, 50% to the rear. So we now know about the two high system and the four high system of gearing. Now the vehicle acts as an open differential 
uh, in the four high and the two high also there is no uh, locking of differentials that is happening here now comes the major four by four system that is the four low it says two high four high and the four low here what the four low exactly does is it adds one more gear into the gearing system which will multiply the torque manifold so what happens is we have still got 50 50 power delivering into the front axle and the rear axle and the Jimny particularly it has got the brake locking differentials it will break the tire which has got the minimum traction or is having a loss of traction so it uh, breaks the flow of torque into that particular tire and what it rather does is it channelizes the energy or the torque of the engine into the tire which has got more traction so that we can get out of a particular situation this is how the brake uh, locking differentials work let's imagine the left rear tire has lost the traction and the right rear tire is touching the ground or ha is having more traction so the rear left tire will be braked automatically by the system and the torque will be channelized into the right side of the axle or the right wheel and eventually we will have the power in the wheel which is uh, having more traction or is touching the ground and we can get out of the situation easily that is how the brake locking differentials work now the BLD will only work when we have got the vehicle engaged in the four low position or the four low gearing system yeah. and this is the system that is advertised by the Maruti Suzuki India Limited as the all grip pro version so two high is open differential four high is also open differential now I will tell you how to engage the different uh, gears from the gearing system this particular gear is uh, just a traditional gear stick for the gearing system what is new here is that uh, we can combine this gear system with these particular gears, all the front moving gears and even the reverse gear. So the first thing that we need to realize is we need to put the vehicle into the neutral gear. Even if the Jimny is automatic, push the gear lever into the neutral or the end position. And then that is how we can shift into the four high. So for the four high, we need to push back the gear lever by slide bit. And this has engaged the four high system. Now we can talk about the four low. If you want to engage the four low in the chimney, this gear stick has to be neutral. And now we put the vehicle into the four high first. To engage the four low, now we press down onto this gear stick and pull it further back. And now we can see the gear stick, this particular gear stick has moved even back, even further back. Now there is one important point that we need to know in mind when we are switching into the four low. We need to understand that this particular gear stick has to be in neutral. Either you press down the clutch in the manual, the manual has this benefit where you can press down the clutch and uh, for example, I am in the third gear. Now you can uh, shift into the follow by pressing down the clutch because it has already neutralized the system, the clutch is no more engaged. So this, this can also engage the follow in the chimney. But if you are in the automatic chimney, you need to put the vehicle into the neutral position or the end position over there. And that is the only way you can shift into the four low from the four high or the two high. So it is very important to understand that uh, what needs to be done and what needs to be avoided. Now there are certain benefits that uh, chimney can provide to you. And one of the major highlight features over here is if you are uh, on the move, for example, your speed is uh, up to 40 kilometers an hour or 50 kilometers an hour you can easily switch into the four high from two high from the two high position we can easily switch to four high on the go we do not need to stop the vehicle for this particular system because there is an electronic system in the chimney which will always work when the vehicle is on when the vehicle is powered on so when you engage the four high it takes a moment to analyze and uh, get the gears engaged together so this is the benefit that we have. We can easily switch from 2 high to 4 high on the go and even from the 4 high to 2 high can be switched on the go. We cannot uh, cruise on 100 kilometers an hour and uh, think that we can engage the 4 high there. It is not even required to switch into the 4 high on such uh, high speeds. It is just required on a slow speed, 20, 30 or 40 kilometers an hour is a very good example where we can switch from the 2 high to the 4 high. But if you want to switch to the four low, you need to stop your vehicle. You need to neutralize get this gear stick or you can press the clutch in the manual chimneys and only then we can choose the four low system. We have to press down the gear stick and engage the four low.
So that is how the 4x4 system of the Jimny works. So this covers all the important points of the 4x4 system of the Jimny. Now uh, some practical implications will also be shown in the video. Uh, as to what are the effects of the four low that we can uh, enjoy the benefit of and what are the what are the benefits of the 4 by 4 system the four low system and where we can uh, enjoy these benefits what kind of situations call for such uh, implications and applications and as we can see this particular green light it will only lighten up when we are in the 4 high, as soon as I switch from the 4 high to the 2 high, this indication over here will disappear. So we need to keep in mind, if you are seeing a green icon over there, it means that the 4 high system is engaged. Alright, now I have put the vehicle again in the 4 high. This is 2 high, this is 4 high and my vehicle is in neutral position. As soon as I put the chimney in the 4 high system, there is a slight knocking sound that we can hear. Now this particular noise or this clicking noise or uh, the ticking noise we can call it, it indicates that uh, we have now engaged the 4x4 system in the high position and both the propeller shafts that we saw earlier are now connected to the engine. So this has covered the 4 high system. Once we engage the 4 low system, we can say that the traction system has turned off. So these are the only indications that we can have as an understanding that uh, the 4 low system has now engaged. Nowhere it will be written that this is a 4 high, nowhere it will be written that this has engaged the 4 low. So we need to understand these symbols. This particular green symbol will all, always mean that you are in the 4 high position and this particular traction off system will always indicate that we are in the 4 low system along with the green light, the 4 wheels. These two when indicated together you can understand that the vehicle is in 4 low. Now do not confuse this particular uh, symbol with the, the engagement of the 4 low. Now there is a particular switch in the chimney which says that traction off. So we need to understand when we press down upon this, the traction control system of the vehicle is off. Even then this particular symbol will be on. It will always be highlighted here. So we need to understand to confirm the 4 by 4 low system we always need to have the green symbol along with the traction control system off and the gear position has to be in the 4 low. That is only how we can make it out that the vehicle is in the 4 low now. Now it is not at all recommended to use the 4 low system on the tarmac or where the grips are very high. You need to understand that whenever you engage the 4 high also and the 4 low also, you need to have loose soil, mud, slush or snow under the tyres. As in the situation needs to be slippery beneath the wheels so that the wheels can easily rotate, easily accommodate for the pressure onto the axles of the vehicle that is being created by engaging the 4 high and the 4 low. Only engage the 4 high when it is slushy or muddy. Or the 4 low is majorly required uh, when you are going for off-roading only. If you have got paved surfaces or you have got uh, tarmac situations, Nowhere it is recommended that you should use the 4 high over there or the 4 low over there. And even the steering, it should be in a straight forward position. It need not be turned uh, extremely towards the left or extremely towards the right. It needs to be straight to engage all these systems. And do not push the vehicles in a 4x4 four four system like 4 low or 4 high in a turn situation where the tires are turned to the extremes. It creates a lot of pressure that is not even understandable for the driver. It creates a lot of pressure onto the axles, the components of the axles when the wheels are locked together by the means of a 4 low or a 4 high system. The 4 high is majorly an open differential setting. Even then you need not apply the 4 high without any requirement or need as in you can say that. And uh, calling for the 4 low situations, you need to be in a completely off-road situation. There needs to be very less uh, traction that is available. Otherwise, what the tarmac and the paved roads will do is, they are going to create a lot of grip for the tyres and a lot of pressure is then put into the axles, which will eventually cause wear and tear or even cause the axles to break. So it is not recommended. Always drive the vehicle in a too high on a paved road or a tarmac road or a fully metal road. There is no need to engage the 4 high over there until and unless it is snowing over there, it is slushy or it is icy. That is the only uh, situation where we need to put in the 4 high or the 4 low. 
and it might not look much on the camera but it is a pretty good incline that we have here so from here i will explain you all the different uh, modes the rear left tire it is not having much of a grip and uh, it has started to lose the traction and hence our vehicle cannot uh, climb this incline so right now as we can see the jimny has just started to climb the incline and the rear left tire is losing the traction and nothing can be done we are not moving now the vehicle as of now it isn't too high so what we need to do is we are going to neutral the gears and we are going to engage the four high we press the clutch we engage the four high so it gives a slight knock into the transfer case and uh, it has engaged the four high so i put the jimny in the first gear now and uh, we are ready to move what the four high does is it gives the energy to the front wheels also the power will send 50% to the front wheels and 50% to the rear wheels and uh, we are going to get out of this situation but we do not move i think there's a stone that is stuck onto the downside Okay so I've got my vehicle stuck on an incline and uh, if you try it on the too high we will see that uh, not much is happening the engine is being stressed out the clutch is being stressed out and uh, even if we put the vehicle into four high what that does is it divides 50% of the power into the front wheels and the 50% of the power into the rear wheels but being in a four high it is still not in the proper ratio to climb this incline from a standstill either you create a lot of uh, momentum before or you put the vehicle simply into the four low so i neutral my car put it into the four low now first gear and i'm very assured that this will uh, easily win the situation Please pass your seat back. Yeah. All right. So right now the Jimny is in uh, too high first gear. See the problem is whenever the vehicle is in an inclined situation, we cannot stress out from a standstill position. Either you have a lot of momentum, that is how you can cross an incline, and uh, even if uh, you put the vehicle in the four high. that is not going to help it the reason being is because uh, the given amount of the engine is going to be distributed into the four wheels four high just simply means that all the four wheels are connected in a higher gearing ratio so the best way out of uh, this situation is that we put the vehicle into the four low neutral your car put the vehicle in the four low and uh, now we have a lot of torque at our hands at our end and we can easily use it as an advantage to get over this uh, little incline that is how the 4x4 system works that is what the low gears are for and uh, now i have got a lot of torque at my end from a standstill motion for low first gear even if i want to pick up my vehicle from this particular position i can easily do it the reason being there is not much stress onto the clutch and the engine that is put and uh, we can easily do it let's try yeah so this is the beauty of the four low gearing ratio and it is very essential to have this component into your 4x4 so that you can effectively use it and uh, these tires they are doing an amazing job Now the only thing that is missing is uh, a proper lift kit. Two inch, at least minimum, is required for you to easily clear out all the obstacles. Please pass the new seat belt. 
So if you remember the footage that I've shown uh, previously, uh, where there's a glimpse of the transfer case, the propeller shafts. So what happens is when I apply the four low, a particular gear engages in the transfer case of the vehicle where the torque is multiplied by many times so that the engine can easily move the vehicle out of any situation or incline that we have. That is the work of the four low and uh, that is the beauty and uh, wonderful uh, nature of a 4x4 system that properly works provided with a low range gearing. That is what is important in a 4x4 vehicle. And the Jimny is equipped with all the systems 2 high, 4 high and the 4 low. So currently the vehicle is in 4 low and uh, I put on the first gear uh, and we can easily move out of this situation. So let's try how it performs. So the vehicle right now it is in 4 low first gear and uh, it wouldn't be requiring much of uh, momentum here because the gearing of the vehicle is in uh, such a form the low gear ratios that it can easily get out of this incline. So let's try it out. So I want to highlight here that I am in uh, too high and reverse gear. We will try getting out of this situation. This is to make you understand what the difference is between the too high and the four high. And if required, I will uh, put on the four low also if, if we do not get out of the situation with the four high. Let's try. So the vehicle is pretty much stationary. And as soon as I start to release the clutch, Please fasten your seat belt. so the one tire, the rear left tire is freely moving because uh, it has got no resistance and the tire with the traction, it is uh, not moving at all. So this is, no matter how hard you try, you don't get out of the situation. Even though the traction control uh, starts to kick in as soon as I press the accelerator. But it doesn't work out much. So when we put the vehicle in 4 high in reverse gear, this will easily win the situation by transferring 50% of the power to the front wheels and uh, as they have got the traction, we will start to come out of this situation. Let's try. And with lots of ease, we are coming out of this situation without any problem. Let's try again. Okay, so this is the reverse gear too high. And please fasten your seat belt. We cannot come out of this situation no matter how hard you try. So this is where you need to put in the four high, which will transfer 50% of the power to the front and 50% of the power to the rear axle and we have got power in all the four wheels so as soon as i start releasing the clutch the vehicle starts to move because of the help of the front wheels and we can come out of this situation very easily 